Today I will be showing you how to use the Harbor Freight electric chainsaw chain sharpener. Uh, at first it looks a little confusing, however it actually is fairly simple. Uh, for starters, uh, mount it on a nice solid surface. I just have it mounted on my old work table here. Uh, simply put, insert the chain onto the slider. Now, you want the cutting edge facing you, or facing away from the, from the unit. And this unit actually swivels, or actually I shouldn't say facing you, you want the cutting edge facing the right. So if I go like this, it would take chunks out of my finger. If you go the other way, it does not. There's a few components. You have the adjustment bar here, which is a little knob on the top side. This adjusts how far down it goes, so you don't end up cutting your chain in half. Uh, this will end up hitting the stopper there. This, along with this bar, adjust how far over towards the grinding wheel that the chain will go. This right here locks the chain in place. Now, since I already have the wheel this or the uh, chain facing this direction now I have to set how many degrees the cutting edge is at uh, right now it's at 25 which is actually um, the wrong cutting angle let me see if 30 is and this chain would have a 30 degree edge okay so now I have the angle and now when you switch it around which I'll show you in a minute then you switch it to the degree, how many degrees facing the other direction to cut, because the edges are different directions. So first time all the way around, we're going to only cut the edges that are one direction, and then we'll switch it around and then cut the ones that are the other direction. So now we have to set how much we'll be taking off. Right now it's not set far enough as the cutting edge will not touch the blade. So that's when you turn this righty tighty brings it the chain edge closer to the blade. Let me get it just barely touches. Now we turn it a little bit more until that cutting wheel just just barely shaves off the edge of the uh, cutting uh, the, the little bit of the cutting edge. You don't want to take too much off it'll wear out the chain quicker. We just want enough to bring it back to sharp. And that's the spot right there. So now we're going to lock the chain in place. Get yourself a permanent marker. And what you want to do is you want to mark the tooth that you're starting with. That way you don't go all the way around just to realize, oh, I forgot where I started. I'm just going to keep going at it. So the first one. Remember, now you, the next one is a different angle. Skip that one and then go to the next one. And it looks like I need to adjust my work light socket. It's a little loose. Now sometimes they'll throw you for a loop and have two of the same in a row. Just got to pay attention. And it quite literally is that simple. And just takes a quick little touch. Doesn't take much to sharpen these. Unless you've really let, let it get bad.
is nice and sharp. And this one's been sharpened a couple times already. I'd say I got maybe four or five more sharpenings before this one needs to get replaced. Getting close to the end of the first sign. Oh, is that it? Yep. And you can see I have that one marked. That was the first tooth we did turn the knob on the underside. Now you can swivel. So that was 30 degrees, so we just go back to 30 degrees marked on here on this side. So now, instead of cutting the tooth that goes this way, it's now going to be the tooth that goes that way. So, loosen that up. Now when you switch sides, Sometimes wear can be a little uneven. So when you switch sides, you want to just double check with the uh, cutting wheel. And uh, you might have to readjust the, the distance. This one's right spot on. Uh, we don't need to make another mark since we know when we get back to that black mark again, or the first tooth you did before, that um, you're done already. So we'll just go at it again. So now, one thing to keep in mind before you start sharpening your chains, make sure your chain is clean, not dripping with uh, bar and chain oil. Try and get as much, you know, get the sawdust off of it. Uh, if your chain is heavily rusted, uh, de-rust it first. Clean and de-rust it before sharpening. Now, there are similar products to this one. Uh, you can get them at Northern Tool, Home Depot, Farm and Fleet, Menards, Lowe's, just about any hardware store. A lot of different brands. Style, uh, pretty much they're all the same design. Um, I've probably sharpened ooh, 200 chains so far. And this wheel is still going good. I'm still on the original wheel. I've had this thing for 10 years. And I've actually just started selling my services on Craigslist sharpening chains. I got a guy bringing me 20 chains tomorrow. At 4 bucks a chain? Fine with me. He said he could get the machine and do it himself, but... He said he'd rather just drop them off. Pick them all up, all done the next day. Fine with me. Get about four bucks a chain when someone brings in bulk. And uh, there is our black mark. That means this chain is done. And that feels nice and sharp. I always uh, I keep a board over here and lay them out flat. That way I can inspect them, make sure there's no damage, flip them around. 
And here's the next one, which I'm not going to do on video, there's no reason to. But, well, as long as I have it here. Now, once you're done with the chain, if you have another one, just leave the angle, you know, the side you're, you're already working on. Uh, let me see what the... angle is of this chain. No reason to swivel it all the way back around if you're... And this one... Depth was a little too low for this chain. Um, there's no reason to switch everything all the way back around because you're going to just have to turn it around anyways. So now this one is all set for sharpening. And uh, well, let's just put it this way. My dad does not know how to maintain equipment ever. Nothing. Snow blowers, lawn mowers, chainsaws, chains. So he's got a fairly nice stash. So what I ended up doing, uh, some of them got rusted, he rusted. I have a special rust remover compound I use. Uh, first I degrease them, so on and so forth, make sure they're all free moving, no damage, just really dull. Uh, I mean, literally he runs his chains until, uh, instead of cutting, you just create lots of smoke and uh, can start yourself a campfire. Uh, so he gives me, I, I get them in a baby fresh diaper white box, um, clean them up sharpen them and what I do since he's got so many chains and if you are doing chainsaw you know landscaping something for a living or you just use a chainsaw a lot uh, is that these containers are actually really nice for that and what I ended up doing started this a couple of years ago got a nice cheap can of silicon spray these are about two bucks uh, liquid wrench makes a nice can um, also great for spraying on your snowblower chute to keep the snow from sticking is I take the can it's almost empty. But I do a nice spray in there, close it, and just leave it all in there. And uh, put some nice, nice slick coating on the chains. Uh, keeps them from rusting. Um, if there was, you know, maybe a little bit of a stickiness in one of the the chain, the chain joints, uh, freeze that up, makes it nice and good. And uh, now you can store them without having to worry about. Um, uh, you know, rust, rusting away and seizing up. So anyways, back to the Harbor Freight Chainsaw Chain Sharpener. Um, this one's, like I said, is about 10 years old. Item number is 93213. Uh, you can tell it's cheaply made. Um, I think Ryobi has one where it's all nice heat sinked fins. But, I mean, it's it's cool. I mean, it's not, well, relatively cool. It's 90 something degrees out right now. <laughs> really heavy humidity but uh, in, for, for 39 bucks 39.99 and then of course harbor freight 20 percent off coupon plus your free item um, so you know once you add that on 20 percent off coupon on 39.99 that's two four six eight dollars off you're getting uh, and uh Save some money. Get one of these buggers in for 32 plus tax. Um, compared to the competition, I'm seeing competitor units, while they might look a little nicer, they do the exact same thing. Um, maybe they'll last longer. I don't know. Like I said, I've done plenty of chains, and I've had this thing for 10 years, and it's working like a champ. Uh, and all the competitors I see are going for about 100 plus. I'll take 32 over 100 plus. Uh, works great. Might not have metal everything like the others, but uh, I actually like the idea of plastic um, for something like this. It's also got a nice lip that helps you line it up with the uh, edge of your workbench or table. Um, I gotta tighten these little nuts down. I didn't, or bolts down. I got six inch long carriage bolts holding this to my bench. Wasn't anticipating on leaving this up all the time, but turns out uh, 
Uh, like I said, I got like 20 chains coming tomorrow morning. The gentleman's dropping off. Uh, I did uh, 15 for somebody else today. Uh, it's the end of the summer. A lot of landscapers are finally catching up with stuff. Uh, plus, we're going into the heating season, so not a lot of people are cutting up their firewood. So, anyways, if you need a chainsaw cha sharpener for the price, get this. Don't even waste your time doing it by hand. Forget that. Just get this. This thing's lasting, and it's doing a great job. Very impressed. Uh, this is K-Man's A-plus rating. Uh, this passes the Harbor Freight tool test. Something that does not pass the Harbor Freight tool test are these long screwdrivers. They just seem to fall apart and round off. So I use these for dipping and hanging up my chains in my rust remover and degreaser baths. Salute! Smile, cheese!